What's happening, you kind folks? This is I Paint Creatures, also known as IPC. Welcome to another worldwide broadcast update to you on uh, my artistic journey, which is uh, very focused right now, and uh, I'm moving into the stages that uh, kind of got delayed for a little while, but we're moving into uh, bringing the funky eye puppets, I Paint Creatures, and the funky eye puppets to uh, a visual format because I am an animator. And uh, I'm a pretty much self-taught and uh, very inspired uh, puppeteer, um, inspired by Jim Henson and company uh, to fully bring uh, my stories that I write daily and express myself in ink and paint and, and all kinds of color and uh, bring these stories to life. So um, definitely check back in the channel let your friends know uh, there's all the links down below so you can see what's going on in the Funky Eye Puppet camp and uh, for those of you that don't know the Funky Eye Puppets to me are the next Muppets at the next level uh, Funky Eye Puppets were born into this era you know were also birthed uh, physically you know during the pandemic and uh, started out as an audio troupe but uh, uh, going back to the original roots which are to bring you know worldwide entertainment that has a lot of heart and is following the whole mantra of no more gatekeepers anymore so uh me as an artist i don't have to worry about time limits and formats i'm just going to express exactly the way the art comes to me and honor you know the great spirit that brings all this incredible vision and imagination which keeps me going and what keeps me going too is also you all paying attention and uh, taking it in and getting ready to go on a fantastic journey into an epic interactive story, multiple platform storytelling. And uh, go on the journey with us, uh, with Shigen, Taiko, and Ryo, and uh, meet all the Funky Eye Puppets and the Crypto Gami, and uh, working on uh, several musicals right now and putting those all down. And uh, everything is going to come to a live entertainment movie, uh, television format, and. Uh, just gathering up the troops that uh, really are serious about that ride and want to take it to the whole next level. So I'd like to explore a Joseph Campbell quote uh, as we render out some of these metazens. And uh, the metazens are also going to start coming into the story of Matsu because uh, the pandemic happened. And uh, I write very poetically and it affects my fantastical worlds and uh, they meld and blend together. And so I got this quote from Joseph Campbell I'd like to explore. Where Joseph Campbell said, where you stumble and fall, there you will find gold. And, uh, you know, I live that mythology daily because I was, you know, pretty much I've spent my whole life uh, growing up, you know, from very young. I was born in Tokyo, Japan, but I grew up in California, in Northern California, um, where there is the myth of the gold rush still here. And I uh, just always like to part this knowledge because it, it's a big part of the roots of my art. But uh, I don't know if any of you creative people or even you people in California ever thought about it, but California to me is so innovative, especially Northern California, in, in the arts, in uh, culture, in the high technology, in any place that is really risky because um, at the heart of it, we live in the earthquake state. And so that's the Bates metaphor. And also the, the gold. The gold, uh, you know, has always been inside all of us, not out in the rivers and you know, going to make us so filthy rich that, you know, we don't have challenges in life. And I think challenges, you know, especially for any of you that feel kindred or broken or don't fit in, it's because you stand out. You, you have another level. So, you know, you stumble and fall because you take more risks than most people. And you follow kind of your crazy craziness inside, which, you know, I'm not using crazy as a negative. Uh, one of my other great heroes is uh, Ken Kesey, who wrote One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And his whole story of growing up in Oregon and then coming to Stanford and Palo Alto, California, that's where I mainly grew up. Um, basically, he, he blossomed and he stumbled and he fell and he went to places that he never thought he would go. He, he was an athlete when he came to California and he had an interest and a talent for creative writing and he, he wrote One Flew of the Cuckoo's Nest. And it's kind of where he stumbled and he fell, if you go back to his story. And he found gold because he lived the rest of his life as an author and inspiring all his friends to do things outside the box. And he's changed his world. And uh, um, 
There's a children's book by Ken Kesey. If you guys have never experienced it, it's one of my favorite children's books. And it's a model for uh, how poetry is so powerful in children's literature and allowing to, to paint and color and, and give wide spectrums of wonder in your writing. So definitely, where you stumble and fall, there you will find gold. And so, uh, remember that California also was birthed on the gold rush, which was kind of fake, right? And so, uh, I think California, especially Northern California, we do business like that. We just take humongous risks. Uh, we believe in our vision more than the how or what's happening right now. And we take it to the stars, just like the funky eye puppets. I'm so excited. Uh, setting the studio up every day and working close hand and uh just coming from love just beautiful love so uh definitely give a shout out to all you incredible people out there and uh look forward to entertaining you so keep tuning in send people our way and uh, all the links are below have a wonderful fantastic day hour minute and of course the rest of your week bye <laughs>